The royal expert had to share that Mesman is a photographer. Meghan Markle likes to use tools that photographers don't, Princess Beatrice. In fact, Meghan's girlfriend is not to be missed. When we start adding up all these little coincidences, the picture can get really big. It seemed a little odd that it was Beatrice who let Harry and Meghan film their silly reality show at the Queen's Lake Theatre, given how tragic the last few years of the Queen's life we've heard. Thank you Meghan and Harry. So why would Beatrice want to be friends with Meghan when Meghan was so rude to Beatrice? My dear grandmother, because I believe most of Joffrey filed a civil suit against Prince Andrew, so he ended up in court. But instead of going to court, they opted for an out-of-court settlement. And why was that, is part of the reason all the bodies are in Meghan's closet, because she's actually identified as a witness. Because she was close to Andrew in Harry's book, he claimed that Meghan doesn't know Andrew, and she doesn't even know who he is. But the problem is that he did it. So what if Beatrice is afraid Meghan will reveal the truth when it comes to what she knows about Andrew, Yachts and Epstein? On the other hand, Meghan also gets caught up in this horrible mess, but what if she tells Beatrice to be friends with her, or she will get her revenge? Why did Princess Eugenie choose Meghan and Harry? Clearly Meghan used Eugenie's wedding to announce her fake pregnancy. Why does the entire York family seem to be on Harry's side, rather than the rest of the family? What decision did they make about the least popular royal, because they thought their uncle was unhappy? about Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. Something is not right here and probably not intended. Harriman also played a big role in Meghan and Harry's reunion. Something mysterious must happen during the marriage. Buckingham Palace claimed that the photos were taken by Eugenie, or that Harry and Meghan lied to everyone and used Beatrice like everyone else. Honestly, Beatrice didn't seem too happy to see them at Her Majesty the Queen's funeral. Meghan has tried to portray Jane as a traitor, but I remember at the Jubilee it was Eugenie and Beatrice, who refused to move so that Harry and Meghan could have the asli and then insert themselves into the procession, leaving St. Paul's when the service was over. Poor Meghan, thanks to Beatrice and Eugene, she really missed an excellent opportunity to make herself look important. Beatrice's wedding was a so that Meghan would not have the chance to do something to try to overshadow it on that day. And Jane also trusted enough to keep the secret to the fact is, I have not trusted Anne for a long time, but I never really had a problem with Beatrice always felt like she was real. I always thought she was much better than her sister. Better one. I have no problem with Beatrice. Because of her father, she married a good man of status who was himself a wealthy businessman. They also have a stepson and a daughter who is more beautiful than ever, she seems very confident lately. I loved Catherine's Christmas concert at the club and showed so much affection and respect for William and Catherine. In my opinion, Beatrice is trying to distance herself from her parents and sister, and I don't blame her at all. I think Jane is someone we can't trust here. She's a resentful dick married to a wine merchant, and I can understand why she'd be allied with Harry. But along the way it seems Dot Megan's web of lies about Epstein. We already know that she was Andrew's girlfriend, but the one who is more concerned about it is Megan, because then her yachting days and pornographic films will appear and people can talk. I think Megan's bullying skills are going down, because she doesn't have a lot of money right now, so she can't pay those expensive lawyers all the time. Harriman is a very manipulative photographer and part of Meghan's chaotic world. I don't think Andrew is going to stand up to his brother in any position right now. He is dependent on Charles after all and is hardly poor, but still he is required to cut his own cloth. Now he's supposed to move into Frogmore, and Fergie knows all too well what's going to happen in the royal family to outsiders who choose sides but for all her mistakes and all her fault, I can't help but like her, she's not like Meghan Markle now. Eugenie, I cannot stand that woman, but she doesn't have any real power. The day she's a nobody and I always suspected that it might have been Jane, 
who gave permission for the late Queen's Playhouse to be used without permission from the Queen. Of course, I always assume that Beatrice stands a little away from the rest of the family like Andrew Jane, but I may be wrong and that who knows, maybe they are thick as thieves behind closed doors. It's a tangled web that we run into when we first start cheating. Unfortunately, the damage does not only benefit the fraudsters, but often other people are also caught in the net. I think these two girls should just mind their own business and stay out of Harry and Meghan's world. And not because Harry and Meghan might harm them, but because it might harm other people who don't deserve it. This has happened before in this whole scandal story, hasn't it? Harry and Meghan poked fun at the late Queen and Duke of Edinburgh during their final days on earth. Has my opinion of Meghan changed? No, I never liked his mediocre actresses. She just wants more and more fame. Most actors crave recognition, and I think the problem that Harry was talking about has always been there. Dot I just think Meghan encouraged him to be more open about his issues with his family. I guess there were always challenges, but Meghan encouraged Harry to stay true to himself. Whatever it means. From my point of view, Harry and Meghan are not good for each other, they are toxic. Harry really needed someone like Camilla. I'm not necessarily talking about personality, but about everything she does for Carlos, someone who is confident in herself, someone grounded in reality, someone with a good sense of humor, who doesn't care what others think of her. They do Camilla is a strong and wonderful support for Charles. In fact, Carlos is very sensitive. I think Harry needs a strong woman like Camilla, but Meghan also needs someone strong, because she is not strong at all. We are dealing here with two people who are very needy and very sensitive, and they get the support they need from their partners, so that their need only reinforces the need of the other, for example, look at William and Catherine. I mean it's a stable marriage. Catherine was in no rush to check in all the time. She takes great pleasure in spending time with her family, beautiful children and husband. Now Catherine really helped William a lot. He was a little rough before, but he also let her out of her shell a little, helping each other. They complement each other well and I hope for the best, especially after they get married in England, but things start to fall apart pretty quickly after that. Start at Rockmore Cottage, where, due to the hustle and bustle, you'd think the Queen of the Lake had banished them to some sort of garden tool shed. Meghan just believed she would be surrounded by minions she could command. They peel the grapes and put them in her mouth. They always polished her nails and flattered her just because she gave in and suddenly realized that she really wanted a job. He was always in public where he had to do the right thing, and he didn't have much control over the situation, and then everything would fall apart. Megan knew what she was getting into. Being a classic narcissist, she thinks she can change things to suit her needs. This is when Megan started her complaint campaign and planned an elopement with her new prince as a tool of influence. Let's remember Harry's infamous comment. Megan wants what Megan gets. I think the rest is history, and we can rest assured Her Majesty has definitely done her homework on Megan and her past. Her Majesty should also be aware of the backlash if they advise against the marriage. It's just a classic corner case. The response strategy to Meghan and Harry and their PR machine is exactly the right strategy. At the end of the day, Meghan and Harry will kill themselves. They don't need to be more human than they are.